Hello everybody, welcome back to the Resident Info channel. In today's video, I'll show you the first things to do after setup on your Vivo X200 FE. So, I just set up this phone. Now, I'm wondering what, what are the first things to do to make my phone work the best. So, let's start off by going into the settings. So, open up the settings and here go to Wi-Fi. Now here, the first step is to connect to your Wi-Fi network. So go over and select the network that you want to connect to and here enter the password. So I'll quickly do it off camera. Now after entering the password, let's click connect and the first step is done. We are now connected to the Wi-Fi. So the next thing that we can do is we can check for software updates. So leave the Wi-Fi. Now go to system update. As you guys can see, the update is available to upgrade to Android 15. And I won't do the update now because I have 19%. But as you guys can see, the update is only 717 megabytes. So it should take you from five to 10 minutes so it's not that bad but you need the battery for it so if your phone is at let's say less than 20% or 30 then you shouldn't update now and you should do it later when your battery is at at least 50 or 80% that is optimal now after that go over to the play store and here we're gonna add the google account so we want to set up our Google account and set up Play Store at the same time. Now let's click sign in. And in here, we need to enter our email. So enter your email now. And let me do it. After entering your email, what you guys can do is enter your password next. So I'll quickly do it off camera. Now after that, click next and here choose who will be using this device. So if this device is for you, then select I will be using this device. But if you bought this device for your children, then select my child will be using this device. Remember, these steps may vary here, but they shouldn't be hard and it's definitely easy to set up the phone for your child. It just gives you more security and more advantages. So I'll be choosing me as a person who will be using this device. Now let's click on agree. And now, as you guys can see, we're finally in the account. We are getting the calendar notifications. That is a great sign. Now here, make sure to enable backup device data. So whenever you want to factory reset your phone, then you'll have a backup ready. So now let's skip everything here. And to verify the purchases instantly, let's click use password and enter your Google password once again. So I'll do it off camera. Now, after entering your password, let's go over and click on our profile picture here. Now go to my apps and games and here you will have updates available. So click on see details and here you guys can either choose which app you want to update or simply click on update all. So I would recommend clicking update all and let it upgrade in the background. Now that gives us a couple of time to continue setting our phone. So after doing that, go over to the settings. We'll get back to those installations later. As you guys can see, it's doing it right here. So now let's go over and configure the biometrics and the screen lock. So scroll a bit down. Now, what you guys want to do is go over to security and privacy and here select the device unlocking. Now here we can set up our screen lock. So 
so let's go over and I will be selecting the pin you guys can also choose the swipe it's not that safe you have no password at all you just need to let me show you you just need to swipe so let's go over and create a pin you can also choose the strong password I would recommend using the password which you would like now here you can enable or disable auto confirm unlock I don't recommend that because if someone sees the way you enter the password and you want to be very careful about it then simply make sure to keep that disabled so click next now enter the pin again my pin is not safe so do not use the pin that I've provided and here we have the notifications so only show after unlocking so you won't be seeing the notification details but you will after you unlock the phone you'll only see that there's a new notification but you won't know what that is unless you unlock your phone so let's click done and we finally got the screen lock now here we also have the screen lock settings like lock after screen timeout like immediately and up to 30 minutes so now here we also have the power button instantly locks so basically when you disable it and enter your pin you will see that when you do that your phone won't be locked but if we enable it then our phone will be locked instantly so now let's enter the password and let's keep on going with the biometrics so now let's set up the fingerprint enter the password and after that click start enrollment click agree and here we need to place our finger so lift it only when you hear or feel a vibration so make sure to use your entire finger just like that pretty sure I cannot scan the exact edges of my finger here so now we have finally made our fingerprint so now whenever we try to unlock our phone it will just go through and here we also have the settings so like a privacy password the animation styles you cannot use that for your privacy password if you set up one so it's primarily made for hidden album covers and everything so here we also have the animation styles you guys can change them and adjust them but we'll get back into it later so now let's also add our face here we need to enter our pin and after entering our pin what we need to do is we need to click on start enrollment click agree and now we need to look straight in the camera so I'll quickly do it off the camera so now I set it up and as you guys can see let me just look at my phone it's unlocked so now we can just swipe and that way we know that our face is working and it has been added so as you guys can see we have made our device secure with the unlock so let's go over and make it better on the home screen and on the lock screen so hold your finger on the screen let's click on wallpapers and here we can choose from a lot of wallpapers made primarily for the vivo phones here we can go into the themes and here we can choose either kinetic wallpapers or live wallpapers but I'll go and select the one that was here so as you guys can see for example this one looks very nice or we'll go with this one now as you guys can see it's saved instantly what we can also do is go over to widgets and here we can add the let's say weather so let's hold the weather grab it and let's place it let's say here now let's tap to get the weather data click agree and let's enter the city as you guys can see we got our weather right here 
So what we can do now is basically configure our screen lock. So go here, now, not here. Let me do it like that. Okay, so now we need to go over to the settings and do it from the settings. So go to settings, now scroll a bit down and go to home screen, lock screen and wallpaper. Here, scroll down and go to lock screen settings and click on edit. So here, as you guys can see, we can either pinch to crop the wallpaper. Oh, I cannot pinch to crop the wallpaper. It's probably because it's the default one, but here we can change the clock style. We can change its position. We can also change the color, as you guys can see. We can make it black or white or blue. We got a lot of colors to choose from here. So let's go with something like this to match the beach. And now we can change the wallpaper right here. So I'll go, let's see, with this one. And I'll change this color to this one. Now, as you guys can see, let's click on apply. And now, as you guys can see, it looks like this. So now we know that it worked. Also here we can change the icons. So we can go with either exquisite or minimal. It doesn't really matter which one you choose. They also look the same. You can also change the corners to be either rounded or circular. So now let's also change the icon size and we can also show or hide the icon name. So as you guys can see, now our phone looks like this. And what we can do next is set up the Google Pay to pay with our card by the phone. So go over to Play Store and here, as you guys can see, we updated every single app from the beginning of the video. Let's go here and search for Google Pay. Now make sure that the Google Wallet is installed on your device. If it isn't, then you will see the install button here. So let me open it. And here, as you guys can see, let's click view wallet, click on allow, and here click on add to wallet. So now let's click payment card. And here I have my card, but you need to have it physically with you. So you, I cannot add this card. And if you don't have your card, then you also won't be able to add it. So I think that's a great plus for the security. But also if you forget your card and you really need to pay, then you cannot just add it. So now what you guys can do is also select the transport pass, the loyalty card, the gift card, and anything else like, as you guys can see, even the gym membership or the insurance card. So as you guys can see, we have a lot of loyalty programs here. You can also find something from here. As you guys can see, they are designed for my region. So don't worry if you do not have these. I probably don't have what you have and you don't have what I have because it's dependent on the region you're in and on your country. So now after setting it up, what you guys can do is make sure that the NFC is enabled. So it's right here. Make sure that the NFC is enabled because this is the way that you make the contactless payments. And after enabling it, you guys can test it out if it works. And last but not least, let's go over to the settings and here select the battery. So as you guys can see, we have the battery saver here. You can enable it. And now our phone turned to the dark mode. Now here we also have battery health and charging, like the cycle count, maximum capacity, the production date and the initial battery use date. Here we can enable or disable fast charging, but if you enable fast charging, then the phone will just get hotter. So you, need, you will need to remove the case to charge it properly. And as you guys can see, we can also enable optimized battery charging. I recommend doing it either to 90 or 100 but there's a couple of things that you need to know 
is that reducing it, it can help extend the battery life. So for example, uh, with the iPhones, you only can set it up from 80 to 100, but here you can also go to 70. I mean, you use less cycles and a cycle works when your phone is at 100%. When you discharge it to 50 and then charge it up to 100, then it only uses half a cycle. So when you discharge your phone twice to 50% from 100, then it will only use one cycle to charge it. So as you guys can see, whenever you change it to, let's say 70 here, then if you discharge it to like 20, then basically you will only use one cycle to charge it. So I think that's pretty cool. Now what you guys can also do is if you don't want your hot to get if you don't want your phone to get hotter then you guys can disable the fast charging but i do not recommend that it's better to charge it in a cool and ventilated area and without a case to help with the heat dissipation and now make sure to enable the sleep standby optimization and here you guys basically can see the power consumption so you guys can limit the app And just like that, we disabled the background usage for the app. So now it's gonna save us, let's say it was 14 minutes. Now it won't open up in the background. So that's cool, that's great. And that's it. So I hope this little video helped you on setting up your device. And if you enjoyed it, then leave a like, sub and a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.